All right, you guys, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today's video, we're doing a fig review. Got a variety here in front of me that's, it's new. Um, it's called Monaco, I've never tasted it. I did taste, actually I did taste a little bit of it last year and it didn't seem to be all that impressive. And you know what? Uh, I think it just needs a long time to ripen, but there's a fruit here that I wanna pick and I wanna taste this particular fruit for you guys for the first time and talk about it and see, well, you know, this is a new variety. Is there by chance, um, you know, this is the right time to pick it or maybe by chance we have to wait. Um, I can't necessarily describe too much about this fruit other than it is a really well-documented Italian variety. So this is, um, you know, something that isn't just made up. This isn't just some seedling. This has got some history to it. It's got a reputation. Um, and that's why I wanted to really discuss it is that figs with some sort of reputation should be discussed at least, at least once here on this channel, um, because they have, uh, at least that going for them in, in that they have been selected over the years. They've made the cut over the years. They are in circulation for a reason. And therefore there's a really good chance that this particular fruit could impress me. So I don't know if that's true. If it is going to impress me, we're going to find out. And again, it could just need some more time because every new fruit that you guys pick is a little bit different, right? We need to always figure out when is the right time to pick our fruits, no matter what it is. There we go, camera. Decided to cooperate. And uh, you can see some sugar spots there on the bottom. So that's a good sign. The neck is pretty soft, but you could definitely feel that this is not going to be the most ripe fig, but by many people's standards, this will be ripe, you know? Um, no sap at the top, obviously. Look at that. Not the best. Not the worst. Hmm. Got a little bit of some, I don't know if that's mold or what down there at the eye. You can see the inside, it just doesn't have the most red interior and that's kind of what this fig is about. There's a void in the center. Typically they can be actually decently large I've seen, uh, at least last year they were, is a pretty, pretty big fig, probably due to the fact that there wasn't many on the tree. So I think now that there's more on the tree, it's probably why that these are a bit smaller. Um, but I would say this is probably more along the lines of like a medium sized piece of fruit. Let's try it. Huh. Interesting. I love how the fruit is like, by the way, it's like half amber and the bottom half is red. So this indicates to me at least if I let it hang on the tree a bit more, the whole thing would probably turn a bit red. The pulp on the exterior is also a bit translucent. And to me, that means maybe there's just too much water. The fig is a bit uh, waterlogged or something and um, probably also immature. So even doing this particular review, you know, I wanted to talk about this variety, but this is by no means the perfect Monaco fig. This is by no means the most mature fig I could have and probably not really that great of a representation of this particular variety. So it's unfortunate um, that that's the case. But having said all that, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> you know, I think um, it's weird because it doesn't look like it has doesn't look like it's going to taste that great, but actually it's pretty darn good. There's some interesting flavor in there. Decent berry flavor and an interesting sweetness. Some interesting flavor in there that I can't exactly place and I haven't really tasted in many other figs. So that's, yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Um, I had lower expectations for this fruit after, especially after last year, tasting like one or two fruits off of it that I got. That was a very young tree. It still is a very young tree. But um, 
Yeah, that's interesting. This tree shows promise. I'm, I'm not going to lie. And it doesn't look like it seems to want to split, although it has been relatively dry. The eye is a little bit open, so that's not good. Not the prettiest fig, and I don't think this fig's supposed to be pretty. I think this one is an ugly one in humid climates. Uh, it seems to hang okay, but the shape isn't perfect, although it is oval. It is kind of ovoid, so that's a good sign for rain, at least. And it does produce well. So we'll see. We'll keep you guys updated. If it continues to impress me, I'm definitely going to keep it. Uh, another year at least, but if it continues to impress me, maybe I might even put it in the ground this, this fall. Um, maybe I'll... Uh, I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated on this particular fruit. And we'll see. As time goes on, who knows. But this is Monaco. Pretty well um, discussed Italian variety. You can see here, there are some leaves that didn't produce fruit. So give it a break. It is a little bit young. Can't expect too much from this thing. Looks like there's a little bit of scale on it too. Interesting. And it, didn't, it did stop growing. I pinched it. And then the tree did not resume growth. So that means that I didn't give it a whole lot of water after I pinched it. And that should be a good sign for the fruit quality. These the fruits should be putting out good quality fruits that way. So yeah, interesting. It's a little furry too, I would say. The uh, skin's a little furry. Hmm. And then here's the leaf pattern. Just uh, This is probably the most... most reliable leaf pattern on this tree, if I had to guess. Here's some three, three lobes back here. Very sandpapery like. Um, that kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, like a hardy Chicago. So, interesting. I don't know. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Hit that uh, subscribe button, please. If you got this far, you like these reviews, uh, also, check out our blog. I mean, we have so much information. I have so much information out there now on the blog. You guys, seriously, if you haven't been there, you're going to love it. We'll see you guys uh, for the next one. All right. Take care. We'll catch you guys later.